So before we get into the review, we just thought we'd make mention of the fact that um, we haven't released the playback from Wayback in a while. You know, we usually review, uh, released it every two weeks. <laughs> and we keep saying, yeah, we'll see you in two weeks or a fortnight. <laughs> we don't want to think that we can't count. We can count, we can, <laughs> for the most part. It's just we have, don't always have time to do these playbacks, you know what I mean? You have to excuse us, boys and girls, as much as we want to give you, you know, a playback from Wayback every two weeks. It's just, it just hasn't been feasible yeah. for us. Life's been busy, man. Absolutely. No, I'm, I'm changing cut nappies. PJ's like, I don't know, what are you doing? I don't know, catching on cock. Uh, I don't know what he does, in, you know, like he could be Batman for all I know. Fuck this night. Yeah, Batman in the window. <laughs> to the Batmobile. Jumps in his ethos. <laughs> <laughs> So this movie is a decent movie. It's not a great movie, but it's decent. Um, the problem with Baby Driver, in my opinion, is that it suffers from a degree of oomph, or as the French like to say, certain je ne sais quoi. And I can show you that when it's over, you'll move on and not give a shit. I could not disagree more <laughs> with this Noel next to me. Yes, I love it watching the same movie, Mabri. Was that you next to me? I kind of the fucking the opposite you. I saw Brella. Generally, I. I I heed PJ's, you know, advice or like anything that he has to say about things, but I mean, I really, really think he's way off the mark on this one. This is a fun full ride from beginning to end and like never lets his foot off the pedal. While it's influenced by what Wright calls the holy trinity of 90s action films, which is Point Break, Reservoir Dogs and Heat, it really sets itself apart from these films with, by one distinct aspect. This film is really a few dance routines short of a full-blown musical. I mean, there's music infused in every single scene, from the car chases to the scene of where um, Baby leaves to get coffee for the crew. He's like walking down the street and you know, he's dancing to the music and singing. You know, like you or I or PJ sing in front of the mirror when you get done and you listen to your music and you know, him singing his Tina Turner and cut. This guy, what's his name? Ansel Algot or something? Yeah, something like that. Ansel Algot. <coughs> Tongue twister. He actually has a musical background, you know, um, he's, he's been in the theater and all this cuck. So, not only does he sell Baby as, you know, this tough, like, silent type uh, getaway driver or whatever, but the musical scenes and the scenes where he dances or drives to music, he sells it all because you can see he's, just, he's got like the swagger about him, man. And I like it, I like it. He's a cool look, this guy. Baby Driver is all style and very little substance. This director, Adam Wright, seems to think that by infusing the film soundtrack with classic songs, this will somehow lend this movie a personality. In a similar way in which a movie like Guardians of the Galaxy would rely on the soundtrack um, to drive large parts of itself, this movie also relies on the soundtrack to drive its vehicle. Um, it's quite apparent to me that director Adam Wright is probably still disgruntled. Good at whatever. He's probably still disgruntled about the fact that he got the boot from Marvel and now he's trying to replicate that magic in his movies. You know what I thought about that as one? That actually makes me think, you know, what Ant-Man would have been if Edgar was at the helm. Thank God Edgar was not at the helm of Ant-Man. What are you talking about? Have you seen, have you seen that? I have seen Ant-Man. Did you enjoy it? I, I enjoyed, enjoyed the hell out of Ant-Man. Okay, so what's your, what's your problem? While we would not have had the Ant-Man that we have today, which I love, we would have had a different one and a, a Probably a really good one as well. Edgar Wright is fun. I think that the the the, the Ant Man that Edgar Wright would have given us would have been the, the Ant Man that no one needed and no one deserved. One of the biggest flaws, in my opinion, that this movie suffers from is just the fact that it's not really believable. Um, I know that in watching movies of entertainment value, you need to obviously check reality at the door. Mm. Um, and also, this isn't one of those movies that treats its audience members like a bunch of idiots. You know, you can it leaves you with enough. There's enough left in the imagination for you to connect the dots. But it cannot hide the fact that it's some 17-year-old kid busy jumping cars and driving like this guy drives. It's, it's not believable, in, in my opinion. Yeah, look, well, if you're going to go into this film looking for a realism, then yeah, of course you're going to be disappointed. I mean, it's just, it's, it's supposed to be over the top. It's supposed to be, like, you know, extra, which mm. is what makes it fun. I mean, if this was grounded in reality, it would be cuck. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of visceral shit going on. There's mm -hmm. a lot of things to entertain the eye, and 
the full, it's almost like the full wants to pretend to be an intellect, but it's actually, it's, it, it's actually a dummy, Matthew. It's a dummy <laughs> posing as an intellect. So, you know, it throws the music at you. It's got this guy with his swag, you know, he's looking after his old man. He's cool, he's but hip and hip and all that shit. But there's no conviction and there's no heart. It's, 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 this, this movie is an empty vessel. Matthew. There's no heart. You there's literally no heart. just spoke about the heart. There's no the heart. whole thing about him looking after his deaf foster father, it's pretentious. It's, How is it pretentious? It's done in a very pretentious manner. He's dancing around the room and shit, you know. <laughs> it, it, this, this film, it's just... Wow. It's, ah, that's funny that you thought that was pretentious. I thought that was actually quite a heartwarming. So it just shows you... Uh, I suppose <laughs> this could be... Uh, this film can be thick. I think, I don't know. I don't know. I can't even find the words <laughs> to describe my disappointment <laughs> in PJ not liking this film. Because every time I was like watching this film, I'm like... Ah. I look at the man P's watch this I wasn't watching it like that. <laughs> the film, <sighs> Matthew, I mean, don't get me wrong, brother. I, I, I'm still going to score it okay, and the film did entertain me at times. It just it doesn't raise the point. I'm just disappointed that you don't feel the way that I feel about this Shame, man, you're going to be okay. Huh? I don't think I'm going to be okay, <laughs> PJ. <laughs> look, I suppose we can play it well, argue all day. It's a good film, it's a cut film. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually really curious to see what everybody else there mm. thinks. They might like it. You know, they might, like it. They might find it <laughs> decent, like you. I don't know. You say you say decent, but basically decent. talking cut about the film. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you why. Why it's a, look, it's yeah. decent, it's incredibly average. Yeah. It's not. You can tell by PJ's energy that he finds this cuck. Which, like, you know what? Anyway, anyway, you have your opinion, I have mine. They say opinions is like assholes, everybody has one. Wow, Matthew, that wasn't, so, that wasn't cliched like this movie. Yeah, anyway, you know, PJ, you have your opinion, I appreciate your opinion, but your opinion is wrong. Anyway, so, <laughs> Baby Driver has to be one of my favorite films of the year. Yes, one of my favorite films of the year. You know, in a climate of, you know, sequels and trilogies and fucking remakes, remakes and shared universes, mm -hmm. there's so much of this franchise building cuck all over the place. And when a, 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 a familiar genre gets a fresh twist like this, mm. I, loved, I loved it. I went into this film thinking, okay, let's see what this is about. And from when it opened till the end, I was entertained mm. for the entire hour and 54 minutes or something. It's a long stuck, eh? But I didn't feel it. I, I, I'm actually planning when I can go watch this film again. Mm. That's a gevaar. Matthew is easily entertained. And he's the same guy. I mean, you are the president of the World Pump on the first day. <laughs> I pump on the first day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. But uh, I won't lie. You can, you know, put a monkey in a hat in front of me. He's doing Boloma kisses. I'll laugh. You know what I mean? Mm. But, uh, uh, you know, don't give me Take, cut take note of what this man is saying right now, okay? A monkey with a hat on. <laughs> yeah, but I said they're going to cuck and just like expecting to pick it apart. So whenever I, whenever I go into these films, you know, I go hashtag, it, hashtag, into like hashtag monkey with a hat on. <laughs> Baby Driver delivers on all fronts. I cannot fault this film for anything at all. Nine out of ten. <laughs> anyway, what it goes. I'm gonna give Baby Driver 6 out of 10. This isn't a shit film, okay? I'm not, you know, despite what I may have seen in, in this review, it's not, a, it's not a shit film. It's just incredibly average. It doesn't raise the bar. It doesn't offer up anything new. If anything, I'm gonna tell you something, Matthew. This film is that classic D student dummy who had one time slander look with 85% in, in his physics exam. Okay. Everyone is so impressed with that 85 that they forgot about the fact that he was a dummy. <laughs> he still be went and bought him a Sega Mega Drive and also forgot about the fact that he was a dummy. That's so what's problem. the moral of the story? 6 out of 10. <laughs> the moral of the story is got a single mega drive. That's it. <laughs> so that's it this week for that movie review. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and thanks for always taking the time to like, comment, and share our videos. We really appreciate it. We absolutely do, guys, and we'll see you next week, same time, same place, right here on TMR. Yeah, that's right. Good take.